Easy Mind, Easy Life with whoop, Holly Bell. That's me. <laughs> okay. So in this video, I wanted to talk about when feelings come up when you're watching these videos, right? Um, if the feelings of anger or the feelings of fear or the feelings of sadness, right? Intense pain or hurt or you feel offended, especially if you feel offended by anything that I say in any of these videos. <gasps> Hurrah! <laughs> That makes me so happy because in those moments, right, that you're sitting there, that you're offended or upset or have said something that has really, you know, caused you mm, angst or whatever, it's a perfect opportunity for you to stop and think, why does this upset me? You know, what belief have I put in place here that's causing me to be upset about this? You know, it's a perfect, perfect time. So I, you know, it would make my day to know, you know, that these videos affect you in some way. Something that I've said has triggered you, pushed a button in some, you know, in some way, because that's a good thing. You know, for so long we're taught that anger is bad, right? Or, or you know, to show, to express anger, to ah, go out and yell in the middle of your you know go out and do your backyard and just scream at the trees right go for it <laughs> you don't need to go and take it out on someone right because they won't understand but this incredible anger that you've got inside of you go and release it you know into nature because nature doesn't judge it doesn't care right anger is not good or bad anger is there because it's trying to show you that you've put something in place long time ago you've put this thing in place it's inside you right this belief or this judgment if you like whichever word you want to use the judgment is this is good this is bad this is right this is wrong and because you put that in place and there's no other possibility you're angry now because this has shown up right <laughs> and according to you it's wrong or it's bad or it's whatever it is right whichever way you're looking at it and so, you know, anger is not bad. There's nothing wrong with being angry. And just to give you an example, you know, one day I just had this moment, this light bulb moment. I was sitting at the beach and I'd been to this beautiful beach that I love so much. I'd been there quite a few times and the weather had been perfect, really beautiful blue, sunny, you know, sunny skies and cloudless skies, you know, for the most part. And the water there is like really still, right? At this beautiful beach, there's hardly any even ripples, you know, no waves, nothing. And the water is clear, it's beautiful, right? I've been there on those days and it's really peaceful and it's really blissful and you just want to let it, you know, soak it all in. It's just beautiful. But this one weekend we went away to this beach and there was an incredible storm right uh, we had booked months ahead so I couldn't just change it at the last minute because then you can't get you know another spot on another weekend it's always busy there and so we went anyway knowing that it was going to rain and there was going to be a storm but this storm was like nothing i'd ever seen or we'd ever seen and even the lifeguards came and told us they'd never seen anything like it either it wasn't just that the clouds were black and the winds were incredible but the waters the waves were like you know incredibly high um the beach was empty there was no one there um even when it wasn't raining but you know, the lifeguard was just there, I think, just to keep, you know, if anyone was there like us, <laughs> was desperate to walk on the beach. And I had, I was walking in the water on the tips, right, of the water. But even then, it was still dangerous when those huge waves came crashing down to the end. They were big enough to wipe you off your feet, right, even though you were on the edge, you know, of where the water was. So my thing was that weekend, I was really observing this storm and all of a sudden I just had this moment this light bulb moment in nature that's what anger looks like in nature right it's raging and the waves are high and they're crashing down and it looks incredible right but it's not good or bad 
Because when you look to the weather, the weather isn't the same all the time. It's not sunny and cloudless every single day. Some days it's windy. Some days it rains. You know, it rains. That's our sadness, our crying. Some days there's incredible storms. And that's our anger. And none of it is right or wrong. It just is. So sometimes we have these feelings that come up as well that want to come up. They want to express something that's stuck in here. And it's up to us to actually sit with it and ask, what is it that you're trying to show me today? What is it that's causing me this sadness? Or what is it that's causing me this intense anger that I'm feeling right now, right? Or, or the fear, why am I afraid of this? Where did this come from? That is what we have to look at. And without the judgment of, you know, oh, the anger is bad or the sadness is bad or it's there for a reason, just like it is in nature. It just is, right? Nature doesn't stop to think, oh, no, no, I better not be, you know, this angry. <laughs> I better not be, you know, this storm better not be that big because, you know, that's uh, too much. <laughs> it just is, right? And so we have to learn to just be when things come up just let them come up and just sit with them and just ask you know what is it that you're trying to tell me why are you here rather than oh no it's wrong to be angry and I know that because I grew up with that at home we weren't allowed to be angry right anger was a negative thing when I was growing up and it took me a long long time I'm talking well into my 30s I'd say almost 40 before I allowed myself to express any kind of anger. It was all in, internalized, right? Anything that would make me angry, it would all just go inside. I just wouldn't express any of it because I had grown up that it was a negative thing to express it. Same with crying. We weren't allowed to cry. You've got nothing to be sad about, you know? So <laughs> when you cried, that would also make you feel bad. You know, why are you crying? There's nothing wrong with you. And uh, all of these things, they're there for a reason. It's not for us to judge that it's good or bad or that we should or we shouldn't express it. It's trying to tell you that there's something there that you need to look at, something that you've put there. You've made a decision about yourself. That's usually what the problem is, that you've made a decision about yourself because of these experiences. And that's what they want you to look at, the anger, the sadness, the fear. They want you to look at what it is that you've placed. Have you decided somewhere along the line that you're not good enough because of something that happened? That you are not worthy of love because of something that happened in your childhood? And all of these things will keep coming up because you're not looking at it through the eyes of love you know to say oh I get it I love you I know what you I know where you're here you just want me to let you go because you're not real I made you up I made you up so today is it time for you to look at at least one thing at least one can we look at one one thing that we made up about ourselves and it's not about saying affirmations that don't feel real. Oh, I am good enough, right? If you still don't feel good enough, <laughs> then it's about looking at why. What determined that? Who decided that? Was it because someone else told you that? That doesn't make it real. Only you decide what's real because you're the only one in here. You're the one that decides what goes on in here, what's allowed in here and what's not allowed in here. That's up to you. You've decided. So if you let that in in the first place, you're the one that can throw that out. You can decide. No, I am good enough. I don't need to be any of that to be good enough. I am good enough just as I am right now. In this moment, I am good enough. I don't need to be something to be good enough. I don't need to do something to be good enough. I just am good enough. But it's not about saying I am good enough and just repeating the affirmations, repeating 
and then eventually it'll sink in. It doesn't work that way. I love how these people try and sell you all these affirmations all day long. <laughs> they don't work that way. You can't just say the words and nothing changes. You know, or, sorry, you can't just say the words and it just magically changes. It's not the words that change. It's the vibration. When that love comes in for yourself that you know you are good enough, then to say I am good enough makes the difference. But if you keep saying I am good enough and underlying that is this mm, inside of you that no, I'm not, no, I'm not really, then those words don't mean anything. So, all right, my darlings, think, think about that for today. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.